we discuss switch case syntax this is actually a different form of if and else syntax here we uh, do the same thing that we do in if syntax that we uh, match the expression uh, apply some conditions and here we write the expression inside the this switch parenthesis and then we write different cases if this condition matches with case 1 then this will be executed and if it matches with case 2 then this will be executed and so on and if it doesn't match with any uh, one of these cases then the default code will be executed right so uh, let's run this code uh, in here we declare a variable x and then we get the value of x from the user and then we execute the matching case so let's execute the code and here let's say I write 2 it will print 2 because it matches with the with this case and uh, here I want to show something uh, let's comment it out comment out, comment out means okay, let's we remove this break from the code by writing these uh, double forward slashes we comment this code it is no longer part of the co uh, this code now and now see what happens uh, now I execute uh, compile the code and let's enter 1 it printed 1 2 3 4 and even the code of default as well so what happened here uh, I entered value 1 it matches it it matched with case 1 so it printed 1 but it also printed 2 3 4 and this default as well so it means uh, so let's try another thing uh, let's say I entered 3 now it printed 3 4 and the default case as well so it means if uh, you do not write the break keyword then the switch case syntax a switch case statement will print all the cases following the matching case like if the case one match has matched with this x expression it will execute this line as well as this line and all the following lines including default line so to avoid that unexpected scenario we should write the break keyword so this is the switch case statement.